Hi, welcome to the world of crochet. I'm so glad that you decided that you would like to learn how to crochet. Um, today I would like to show you, to start off with our, this would probably be your beginning video, is how to use the crochet hook. This is um, any size will do, but you're just learning. Also, how to hold the thread. And one thing about holding the thread when you start out is a light color is really great. That way you can see what you're doing. You'll be able to see the thread if it's going in the right place or where to insert your hook, you'll know that because you can see it really well. So that's a great way to start. So let's get started. I'm about to show you how to hold the thread in your left or right hand and how to hold the hook. I'll say this before you get started. If you're holding, if you're right-handed, you will be holding the hook in your right hand. If you're left-handed, you'll be holding it in your left hand. And the yarn will be in the other hand. One other thing before we get started is that I wanted to tell you about, don't be discouraged at first. Because the problem is, when you first get started, is that people's hand is just really awkward to hold the thread in the way that you're supposed to. But there's something called muscle memory, and it's real. So I know that from experience, when you switch out the way you hold things, it, it um, in no time, in absolutely no time, you will have the hang of it. So don't let the awkwardness of it discourage you, because in a matter of, some people are really fast at learning, and others may take an hour or so. But you'll have this in no time, so don't be discouraged. Give it a try. So let me, with no further ado, let's get started. Okay, the right-handed crocheter will hold the hook if you want, if this is the way you choose, is this is the overhand, over the hook method. So you'll have your hand over the hook. Now, if you want to go the other way, you can hold it more like a pencil, which is the un, your hand would be under the hook. It's also kind of how a lot of people eat. On the left-handed person, you would have your hand over the hook this way, or possibly under the hook that way. Now, the wind just blew the door open. Don't worry about it. It's just a windy day. So now to hold the thread. I'll just show you how to do that. Okay. And go ahead and make the slip knot. You should have learned to make the slip knot. If you haven't, go watch my video. I have one how to make a slip knot. So that's how we do it. A little extra lesson there. Now to hold the thread. Um, you're going to bring the thread up between the pinky and the ring finger and then wrap the yarn around and then you're going to bring the yarn up over your index finger and then you're going to then that's how you hold that's how you hold it so it looks like this from the outside your hand looks like this from the inside while you're crocheting so you could actually just begin crocheting like so now the thing is you see this how it's coming through there this is tension. You could squeeze your fingers together. It's tighter, looser. You will learn that. Don't even worry about that just yet. Right now, you just want to put that in there. So I'm going to show you again. Up through the pinky and the ring. Out around the pinky finger. See, it's wrapped around it now. Now you're going to go between, over your index finger now. And you're ready to crochet. And when you're crocheting, you hold it here. So the next video... I'm going to teach you how to make that chain. Thanks. Enjoy.